Hi everyone, welcome to Genius 3 Lab series. Today I will show you how to add Juniper virtual router was in Genius 3. To do this, we did few software. Genius 3 2.1.15, Genius 3 VM, VMware Workstation 15 Pro, and Juniper VMX Image. I will install Genius 3 2.1.15 GUI application on Windows 10 and Genius 3 VM on VMware Workstation 15 Pro. This is the recommended way to run Genius 3 VM. We will then integrate Genius 3 VM with Genius 3 GUI. Now first thing, we need to download Genius 3 2.1.15 software from either Genius 3 official website or from GitHub. And this software is free and then i will download the genus 3 vm it should be the same version as genus 3 gui software to work properly now i open my browser you can see where i download the version of genus 3 version 2.1.15 this is the genus 3 2.1.15 click here to download okay it's downloading and I will download now the thing is gs 3 vm gs 3 vm vmware workstation 2.1.15 the version should be the same this 323 mb file and this is 64 mb i've already downloaded this software so i'll cancel this one now i will show you how to download vmware workstation pro to do this we have to go to the new tab go to the official website of vmware.com click on the downloads and look for the workstation pro click here now i'll click here for windows version click go to downloads the file size is 552.35 so you either log in or sign up to download this software i already downloaded the software so i will go to my folder where i have downloaded this one okay now first i will install genus 3 gui software this one is my genus 3 gui software 2.1.15 click here Click yes. Click next. I agree. Now you have to select all the options here. Click install. It's downloading Word Viewer. I'll pause the video here. I'll come back when the download completes. Okay, Bart Viewer download is completed. Now it is installing. Our Genius 3 setup is completed. Click next. Select no. Click next. And you can click finish. Don't show this message. Cancel. Okay, this is our Genius 3 software. Now I will install VMware Workstation Pro. So I will minimize it. This is my software VMware Workstation Pro. Installing Workstation Pro 15.5 is very straightforward. Click next. Accept the terms. Click next. Just click next here. Don't need the desktop, but it's okay. Click install. Okay, I can click finish button to exit the setup wizard. Or if I have the license number or the license key, I can press the license and put the license key here. I can skip to leave the fail blank. And I can enter later. So click finish. 
Okay, now I will open the VWare Workstation Pro. Now I will run Genus 3 VM within VM Workstation Pro. It is recommended to use the Genus 3 VM on Workstation Pro, not the player, because the player has some limitations. I click here, open a virtual machine, select this Genus 3 VM. This is over file. You can see the over extension. Open. Now I will select the storage path for the new virtual machine. I already created a folder. And D drive. This one. Click import. Okay, this is my GNS3 VM machine now. So I'll change some settings. Click edit virtual machine settings. The memory I will select 4 GB because I have 8 GB RAM. And the processor I will select two processors and two core total four. It's fine. In the network adapter, I will select here specific virtual network VMNet. Okay, that's it. This is my Genus 3 VM within the VMware Workstation Pro. Now I will go back to my Genus 3. Go to the edit to the preference and in the Genus 3 VM. I'll click here to enable the GNS3 VM. Fine, this one is fine. And I will select here 4096. The code is 4. Click apply. This is how you can integrate Genus3 VM on your Genus3 GUI application. Okay, my Genus3 VM runs here, you can see. Okay, now I will install Juniper MX Series Virtual Router here. You have to collect this virtual router OS to create Juniper Lab. So I'll go to the edit and then to the preference. Go to the camo VMs. Click new, run the camo VM on GNS3 VM. Click next, and I will write here as Juniper VMX as it is a virtual MX series. Click next, keep the default. Click next, click next. Here you select the disk image, click the browse, put it here, network tools, this is my Juniper VMX Series image, click open, okay done here, now click finish, one more thing, click edit, in the network section, select 6. You can do another thing is you can you can change this router symbol. Click OK and then click OK. Apply. OK. Now you create a project. You give it a name as basic config. Click OK. This is your router. Connect from the Ethernet 2, Ethernet 2, click, now click on the console, this is your Juniper router console, it's now booting up your router, you have to wait for it, now you can put command and create your own lab, that's pretty much of it. Now you can create your own Juniper lab with all the software. 
I have shown here. That's all for today. Do subscribe my channel for more videos. Thanks for watching.